discuss chemical kinetics. One of the important brand or topic in physical chemistry. What is this subject fields? What are the details in the topics? We will discuss in following videos. You know, there are plenty of hydrogen and oxygen gases in the atmosphere. The reactions between hydrogen and oxygen is thermodynamically spontaneous. That is delta G negative. But in normal cases, hydrogen and oxygen gases in the atmosphere does not produce any water. You know why? Because that reaction is extremely slow. In short, that does not take place literally. Similarly, you may have the diamond. You think that the costly diamond is stable. But if you look at thermodynamic property, conversion of diamond to graphite is delta G negative and spontaneous. But that does not happen when you bear a diamond ring in your finger because its speed is very, very low. Therefore, such aspects, speed of the reaction, how fast a reaction completes, how fast the equilibrium happens, how quickly I can get a product from my, uh, from my uh, uh, firm or uh, uh, industry, this is dealt in chemical kinetics. Look at the definition of chemical kinetics. It is a study of speed. Now we will use the word rate and mechanism of reactions at the given temperature, pressure, concentration, and catalyst, etc. Therefore, it is a study of speed of and mechanism of reactions. And then, based on the speed, we have three types of reactions. One class is very fast reactions. Example, explosions. Second one is precipitation reaction. When you add AgNO3 to NaCl solution, you know what will happen. Immediately you will get AgCl. So very fast reactions. Other extreme is very slow reaction. Rusting, hydrogen oxygen, diamond. Either they take place years, rusting takes place years, or literally does not take place. The third case is moderate reactions, moderate speed, normal acid base reactions, reaction which we do in the volumetric analysis, reaction which happens in the battery cells. These reactions are studied in a specified way, in a delicate way, using the sophisticated technologies like spectroscopy, flash photolysis, etc. etc. These are studied by our normal method like uh, volumetric analysis. Similarly, uh, volumetric analysis uh, or um, electrochemical methods. Now, expression of rate of reactions. How can you express rate of the reaction? There are two methods. One is average rate method. Second is instantaneous rate method. Average as, you, as we say that, it gives you an average value. Suppose you take an average of marks in a class. It doesn't mean that it, it may not be the mark of even a single student in the classroom, but you will get the average. It gives you a different idea. Second is instantaneous rate. Right at a particular time. Suppose you ride a bike. You look at the speedometer of the bike and read the speed. That is the instantaneous rate. The rate at that moment. Suppose this is a reaction. A gives P. A gives P. The average rate is expressed 
by delta a by delta t. Delta t is a period of time. Therefore, average rate is the rate of the reaction over a period of time. Overall rate can be expressed in terms of products. We will discuss in detail. That is delta p by delta t. Fine. Instantaneous rate is expressed in different method d by derivative minus d a by dt or dp by dt. Have you noticed the minus sign here? Yes, we will discuss uh, the future or uh, in future why this minus sign, why not the minus sign here. But anyway, rate can be expressed in different way average rate and instantaneous. Now we will go to in details of average and uh, instantaneous rate okay look at here we have a average rate expression average rate expression expression what is rate rate is nothing but speed instantaneous instantaneous rate expression okay what is this? It is a speed over a range over a range of time. Okay, it is a speed of the reaction at the moment at the moment or time at the time. Consider a reaction A gives P. This is your reaction. Imagine your reaction A gives P. Fine. Now you draw a graph of concentration and time graph. You can draw the concentration, variation of concentration of reactants or products or conveniently I take the products initially that is before the reaction starts product concentration is zero it slowly increase okay why it is flattened here you learn because from here onwards reaction has been achieved equilibrium similarly you plot a graph here time, concentration, same graph of the products, instantaneous rate means you take a time here t1 time t2 okay or range of time that is this is our delta t And this is the concentration, suppose C1, this is C2, concentration of the product at the time T2 is C2, concentration of the product at the time T1 is C1, and this is delta P. Therefore, your instantaneous rate is delta P by delta T over this time. Fine. Suppose you want, uh, sorry, average rate, average rate over this time is delta P by delta T. This is average rate. Suppose you want an instantaneous rate, a rate at this moment of time. Suppose you want, what is a rate at this moment, T, P star. How do you calculate it? This is a mathematical way. If I want to calculate the rate at this moment in mathematical way, you draw a tangent here. Okay, a tangent. Draw a tangent. Fine. Then the gradient of trans the tangent. This is the gradient. This is dp, gp, change in concentration. This is dt. We know that tangent of uh, tangent is dy by 
dx. What is a dy here? That is dp. What is a dx here? dt. This is a, a instantaneous rate. Instantaneous uh, rate. Therefore, this is how we mathematically prove average rate and instantaneous rate. Okay. Therefore, we can express the rate of reaction in two ways that is, average and instantaneous. Average and instantaneous, uh, the difference one is a, over a period of time, second is uh, over a, uh, uh, at a particular time. Now, uh, I give a question. We can do a question. Consider a reaction. Please do this question. Question number one. Consider a reaction. Consider a reaction. 2NO plus O2 gives 2NO2. 2NO2. The variation of the variation of of Concentration of concentrations of NO is given below. Given below. Okay. Concentration of NO and time in second. 0 0.75 molar, 0 0.65 molar. 0 0.586 molar, 0 0.539 molar, 0 0.496 molar. In 0 second, in uh, 10 second, 20 second, uh, 30 second, uh, and uh, 40 second. The question. Calculate the average rate of disappearance of calculate calculate average rate of disappearance of disappearance of disappearance of N O in twenty second in in twenty in the first in first in the first 20 seconds in the first 20 seconds very simple question what is the average rate of uh, this is a question what is by delta t minus in a 20 second okay the word of Time delta D is given, delta D is mentioned first 20 second, therefore 20 minus 0 first, you have to begin from here, 0 to 20. That is 20. Now, what is the concentration at the 20? This is for 0, this is for 10, this is for 20. Therefore, delta NO is equal to. Final minus zero point five eight six minus initial first twenty means twenty from twenty to zero that is initial point seven five point seven five fine now what is our solution here when you solve this when you solve this this is smaller and this is bigger. Therefore, the final answer will be minus of minus. Because this is a minus. Minus of minus 8.2 into 10 raised to minus 3. Suppose it's concentration more. That is 8.2 into 10 raised to minus 3. Molar. Mole. 
pulse circuit. This is second, this is polarity. Imagine this minus carries here. If this minus is not here, the answer will be reported as negative. Could you get speed in negative? No, it's not possible. Speed is a scalar quantity. It has no direction. If you ride your bike in backside, does it negative speed? No. The speed should be expressed, rate should be expressed in positive quantity. It has no direction, it has only magnitude. That is why whenever we express the speed, in terms of reactants, here reactant and no has been taken, that expression should carry a negative sign. I hope this topic is clear. Please understand. Whenever you express a reaction, the reaction should carry a positive sign. Okay. That is another very important uh, topic. Now, I, I will go to next topic. Is it clear? Uh, please remember, whenever rate of reaction is expressed, it should be expressed uh, expressed in uh, in, in